Okay, Kimberly, so this is the LX900 printer sitting on a 55 gallon drum, but that's because I have my new printer set up. But this is how it works, and this is what I was talking about in our conversation today. So you have your buttons over here, your power button, pause button, your load feed, and your unload button that unwinds the uh, labels off of the label spool when you wanna change out uh, spools. Um, the machine opens on the side like this. And honestly, I just keep it open all the time. I don't close it every time I use it, but that's up to you. It just makes it easier for you to get to everything. Um, these are your ribbons and where your print cartridges slide out. You can kind of see them in there. And then this is uh, your spool that you put, um, or your you know spool thing that you put your labels on. So um, just to give you an idea of how to load this thing, uh, here is a spool of labels, a roll of labels, I'm sorry. Um, you would slide it on here. Take the tape off. And you'll have to forgive me, this thing isn't hooked up right now, so I'm just kind of giving you a demonstration of it without it without it powered, but I mean, you'll get the idea. So you slide your spool onto here, or your roll, sorry, and then you flip this up and you slide it in and you wanna have it to where it's not pinching it too tight, but it's not too loose either. You just want it to where there's like a little bit of give on either side. Then you want to slide, you've got these sliders here. You want to line your labels up in here and then you want to slide your little slider over to help hold them in place. Now, again, you don't want it so tight that it's pinching, but you don't want it so loose that it could stray from side to side. You just want it to where there's a little bit of give and then you will feed it in and then this part will grab it and pull it through. That part works. Um, the part that doesn't work is the spool feeder back here, which normally this rolls forward and that's what moves these labels forward. So what you would do is if you were printing out like 20 labels, like we were talking about earlier, what you would do is you would just pull the back out like this and then just um, let them hang over the back of your desk or whatever. Sorry, that came out. It, that wouldn't happen if the power was on. So you would just leave your excess like this because once it goes tight, it won't pull forward on its own. Does that make sense? You have to kind of just make sure that you always have, uh, I don't know where that came from. You just always have to make sure you have slack in the back. So it's not like you have to, auto, it's not like you have to manually feed each label. You just want to have plenty of slack in the back because once it goes taut like this is when it, it won't roll forward like this on its own. And maybe your husband can fix that. Um, another thing that you need to adjust for, and it's this is super important when you're doing round labels, um, is this, uh, this um, slider bar in the very back. You wanna slide it to half the width of your label. So for example, these labels are one inch by two inch tall. So they're, uh, or no, they're two inches wide by one inches, one inch tall. So it's two inches wide. So you want to set this slider bar to one inch. That's half the width of the label. Again, not as important with rectangular and square labels, but with round labels, you want that because if you don't do it, um, they won't print centered. So if you have a three inch circle label that you're printing on, which I'm gonna be giving you a bunch of rolls of those, you're gonna want this slider bar um, adjusted to one and a half inches, which would be right here. So you wanna have this printer somewhere where you can easily see the back of it, a table or something, you don't want it pushed up against the wall. You wanna be able to make sure to get around it. Um, again, you uh, will download Nice Label to your computer. 
Um, it's free software and that's what communicates from your computer to the printer. And that's what you'll set your label artwork up in. You don't have to design your labels in nice labels, uh, um, although you can. I design my labels in Adobe and then I just import it as a flat piece of artwork into nice label, but you can actually set type in nice label if you want. I just never did it. I just always did it through Adobe, uh, flattened it as a JPEG, imported it onto a label template, and then just printed it out as a flat piece of artwork. Um, again, it's kind it's a larger machine, um, kind of heavy. I would say it's about 40 pounds, um, but it's a good solid machine. Uh, I had it cleaned a few years ago. I sent it to Primera and had everything cleaned up and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, tightened and everything like that and had it sent back to me. Um, it works great. Uh, the only, the only issue I've always had with it was that advancement feature where you have to, um, where you have to feed the labels, uh, you know, pull out the slack manually. Other than that, um, it works awesome. Um, I just traded it in for a die cutting model. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks.